Okay, for this dissection video, which is dissection number two, the uh, deeper muscles of the back and shoulder, as you can see on this cat, we have uh, already done some of the dissections for dissection one. I'm going over the, um, if I just pause this here, you can see we've got, um, I'll go with red here, we have the latissimus dorsi right there. Ooh, that's a funky looking arrow. Latissimus dorsi, right here we have our spinotrapezius. There's the acromiotrapezius, and up here we see the clavotrapezius. All four of these muscles are going to get cut in this dissection. So let's watch how this works real quick. Okay. Still using the uh, laptop, so this is going to be a little bit jumpy. That's okay, though. We still get the right idea. So first step you see, I get my probe. So the probe is kind of going to track my line. I can't stress how important this is. Make sure, so you can kind of see the, the line that we're going to be cutting here, okay? You can kind of see I'm going to be cutting right along this probe. A lot of people make this mistake where they accidentally cut this direction or they end up cutting this direction. Some very strange things have happened in the past. Make sure your line goes right along the probe, which is pretty much going to be um, perpendicular to the direction of all the fascicles, which are going this direction, okay? So we're kind of cutting right across all of those. All right, so let's watch this scissor cut. Okay, I'm using the probe as kind of a guide. And we're going to be able to cut this latissimus dorsi into two pieces. Right in the middle, so now I can flip it up and flip it down. And we should now start seeing some of the muscles almost of the rib. Um, okay, our next one we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the spinotrapezius. We're going to cut it in the same way. Notice I've gotten the probe all the way through it. About middle of the muscle, we're going to chop it, one big slice. We can now lift that one up out of the way. Okay, so I've got two muscles completely cut. Let's move on. We've got two more to go. We're going to cut now the acromiotrapezius. Get my probe underneath. All right. Now, one thing that's really important when we cut this, let's pause, Make dang sure that this levator scapulae ventralis that's running right about here does not get cut. We don't want to cut that. We're only cutting the acromiotrapezia. So be really careful. This is why it pays off to have dissection one completely finished before we start dissection two here. All right, so it looks like we're ready. We're going to cut right in the middle using my probe as a guide. Okay, we can flip that guy up. Excellent. Okay, so at this stage I'm getting underneath the I'm getting underneath the clavotrapezius, and you can see I'm actually just kind of using it as a guide. And again, we can notice that right down here, you might be able to see, right there is my um, levator scapulae ventralis. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up the clavotrapezius, making sure I don't accidentally jab a muscle that's down below. This has to be a completely finished dissection. Do not go on to dissection two if dissection one is not first finished. Let's watch how this looks. It's a very quick dissection. Come on. I'm pushing down the levator scapulae ventralis to make sure I don't accidentally snip it. And there we go. Now I can go ahead and cut through the clavotrapezius. All right, I can spray him out. All righty. You can actually see where I have the, uh, there I'm getting underneath the levator scapulae ventralis and he's still intact, fantastic my chromotrapezius, my spinotrapezius, and latissimus dorsi. So now let's take a look at the muscles that we see here. I'm just kind of using my fingers carefully. Um, important thing, use your fingers and not the probe. So we do not need to use uh, the probe right here. Don't worry about using the probe, just your fingers, because you can really wreck these muscles. These are what we call the rhomboidous muscles, or sometimes just called the rhomboids. Let's see what happens when we pause the video and we get a nice big view of them. Okay, I'm just kind of cleaning everything up with my hand, finishing that cut up the uh, clavotrapezius. Okay, so now we can take a good look at the muscles we see here. Let's see if I'm freeing up that I didn't get the spinotrapezius all the way off the, the uh, uh, part of the scapula there. Got everything kind of cleaned up. Just again, using mainly my fingers to kind of clean up some of the uh, connective tissue that's kind of blocking the view. And now hopefully we're going to be able to see quite a few good muscles here. Okay. 
So let's pause right here and take a look at what we see. All right, so hopefully what we're going to see right where my finger is, this is the edge of the scapula. This is the edge of the scapula. So what I'm hoping that you guys see is right about here and here, this is a muscle right there. This is called the rhomboidus minor. And right next to it, coming up over this side, is what we call the rhomboidus major, right where my probe is touching. In between them is a very, very faint line. I want you to be really careful. The rhomboidus minor, it's easy to tease it into lots and lots and lots of pieces. Do not do that. Don't ever get your probe anywhere near the rhomboidus minor. You can totally terrorize that muscle really badly. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so I'm being very careful showing the difference between the rhomboidus major and the rhomboidus minor. Just careful, careful. Don't shove your probe into the rhomboidus minor. That's a huge no-no. Okay, so I'm just kind of showing you the difference. Major over here, minor on the left. Okay, so this is a good place possibly to pause. Let's take a look at what muscles we see right here. These are some muscles that we should know. Okay, coming over the corner, you can see it. I'm going to underline it, or just kind of outline this muscle right there. This is the rhomboidus major. Okay. Right here you might notice there's the spine of the scapula is running kind of right here. So that means you have a muscle on this side and a muscle on this side. You have the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and then down here you're going to see this as another muscle right here about, if I kind of underline this muscle, it is touching the, t the rhomboidus major. So if I redraw the rhomboidus major over here, this is the teres major. Teres major, rhomboidus major, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. I always like to remember it, the two majors are kissing. They're touching each other right there. So kind of keep an eye out for the kissing majors, all right? Okay, I'm just kind of cleaning up some of the fat that's right there behind things. All right, right there, right where my probe is touching. You can see the two majors are kind of kissing. So right there, I'm kind of picking away at one. So right there's that spot right where they're kissing. Let's make sure we see that. So right here is where I have one muscle on this side and another muscle on this side. Hopefully that's really clear on your screen. Then I have another muscle right here. So I see three muscles, teres major, rhomboides major, infraspinatus, okay? Let's speed this video up and we'll get up to the uh, part that we want to see up at the top. The last thing we have to do in this dissection is find the rhomboidus capitis. So you kind of notice that what I'm doing with, this, with the arm, I'm shoving it under the body and that kind of lets the scapula kind of poke out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this ribbon of muscle that you're going to be able to find. You can see I'm getting my probe under it right here. And this is the rhomboidus capitis. And again, notice the elbow is kind of under the cat, so it kind of pulls that scapula out. And there we go. There's the rhomboidus capitis. Okay. Let's kind of speed this up. All right, kind of cleaned up. He should be very easy to clean up. There's lots of little stuff around him. Super easy to clean up the rhomboidus capitis. Again, don't ever tear this muscle. This is kind of in the same category as the teres, uh, levator scapula ventralis. Never going to be cut. Okay, so if I just did a quick highlight here of the muscles, it's just a quick review from this angle. I have a muscle here, I have a muscle here, and there's another muscle right there. This is the rhomboidus major, rhomboidus minor, and the rhomboidus capitis. All right, that pretty much sums up the dissection. So one other one that you might be able to see right here where my blue thumb is, on the underside of the scapula is the subscapularis, okay? So that's going to kind of cut us down for now on this dissection. Um, do your best to answer the quiz and hopefully be ready for this in class.